Now, you bring up the budget, and the president brings up the budget, the pri Paul Ryan budget. That's right. But as you know, and we've been around this block before, the Senate Democrats who control the Senate haven't had a budget past one in now 1,091 days. Here's what you said to Greta Van Susteren when we talked about this the last time and you were on her show. I expect that, that, uh, that the Senate will take up a budget. That I have you not have heard Harry Reid's. I haven't heard Harry Reid say anything uh, close to that he's not going to put a, a budget on the on the Senate floor. Can you the Senate will. I'm confident the Senate will take up a budget. And uh, but but let's uh, the, let's focus on what's important here. Process is not what we should be obsessing well, over. We can't so the Senate is not taking up a budget. He has said he will not take up a budget. A budget will not move to the floor this year. Uh, and he said back in February, it's done, we don't need to do it, and it's clear now they're not doing it. So what about that? Well, I mean, I'll say what I said that night, because uh, uh, focusing on process is not what uh, the American people are interested in. What they're interested in, in make, is making sure that the Romney-Ryan budget, that ends Medicare as we know it, that would allow student loan interest rates to double. But you get that the people sitting at home that say, hey, listen, we understand that you have a problem with the Ryan budget, but there's not a Democratic budget on the table. There certainly is. President Obama proposed a budget. But it's not being voted on. That's right, because the House Republicans no, no, uh, voted no, no. it the down. The Senate yeah. controls would... by Democrats, and they are not bringing forward the president's budget. If they wanted to vote on the president's budget, all they'd need is 51 votes to pass it. So. Why don't you or President Obama call Senator Reid and say, bring up President Obama's budget and vote on it? I, I don't speak for or, or tell Harry Reid what to do. What, what I think we'd have to do here is make sure that we have, we've got two budgets, two different directions that we could go on November 6th and leading up to November 6th. The Romney-Ryan budget, which Mitt Romney has fully embraced, that uh, takes us back to the failed policies of there. the past. People are talking about it. Yep. So you can debate right. it because it's, uh, exactly. it's passed the and House. And we can also debate the president's budget. But it hasn't which passed makes, the Senate. Which, okay. No, but, but see, this is how, have, you know how have, Congress works. No, what I know is that in the, we, we have two blueprints. Two blueprints that show the different directions that this country one could go. One has passed the Chamber of Cong you Congress are, and one I hasn't. I know that it's really interesting to, instead of focusing on the details, which is really are really meaningful to people, to focus on process. Because the details are painful but for Republicans. But if solutions are the, the end result, if you're trying to get solutions, you know you have to get it past Congress. So... Again, I'll say to you right. what I said. I, I know said you to don't Greta, think people care have about process. Harry Reid or a Senate Democrat on your on your show and ask them. I'm not. I'm none of those things. Well, I'm you a were House when Democrat. You told Greta that he was going to bring it forward. I, I I did think at that time that there was a likelihood that that a budget would come to the Senate floor, but. What you're trying to do now is, key, and I understand it, no. because the Romney-Ryan budget is painful for Americans. How do you it solve makes the sure problems of the U.S.? No, no, it makes sure that, well, I, we don't do it by making sure that millionaires and billionaires I understand get another $150,000 do, do in tax it? breaks. How do you fix things we if fix you don't? It, we fix it by working together. We fix it by both sides coming together. Which is called a conference walking, committee. And not walking away from a $4 trillion opportunity to reduce the deficit. But not you can't focusing, work together unless there are two plans that that come together in a conference committee and you know you work out you iron out the details some people get what they want other people don't get what they want right and, and if there aren't two plans that go to the conference committee then you just kind of demagogue one plan that's on the table well, the, the Republicans have had m numerous opportunities to work with President Obama, and they have repeatedly demonstrated that they have no interest in doing that. President Obama has put forward proposal after proposal, has shown time and again that he's willing to sit down and compromise on deficit reduction, on the debt ceiling, on, on tax reform, on making sure that we can fight for the middle class and working families and create jobs. The Republicans have an interest in one job, his, and they don't want him to be successful, and that's why we haven't been able to work together. I hope to have Senator Reid on to talk to him about the process. Please ask him about it. And I will. I'll, I'll continue to thank you very make much sure for your time. I speak for the Democrats. Thank you very much.